Well, today was supposed to be a podcast about the Holiday Bowl, which it still will be, but it'll be focusing on how the Holiday Bowl has been officially canceled just hours before it was supposed to happen. Um, I have a special guest on today to talk about all of this is that's going on with COVID-19 and the college football bowl system, all of that coming up today on Locked On Pac-12 Podcast. <laughs> You are Locked On Pac-12, your daily podcast on the Pac-12 Conference. It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to another episode of Locked On Pac-12 Podcast. Uh, Today's episode is brought to you by Sonos. Sonos is the official sponsor of ESPN College Football. Go to Sonos.com to learn more. Thanks for making Locked On Pac-12 Podcast your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms. I'm your host, Cindy Robinson, former Pac-12 student athlete, and I was so excited to let you guys know about like our special guest today, the host of Locked On ACC, Candace Cooper. Uh, I'm going to have to break down for you because, you know, usually on my show, all the guests that I have typically know my background as a student athlete and they love to pub it up. And I'm already like, eh, eh. But Candace is actually one of my very close friends. And I always pub her up. She gets, she kind of hates it. But at this point, she's used to it. She is the first, the first black swimmer at UNC. <laughs> North Carolina <laughs> Chapel Hill. Okay. That's not a, can't I can't help, help it. Because that is just such an amazing um, accolade to have. You know, don't, don't get it twisted. She also has... You know, some Olympic situations under her belt. Go check her resume out. If you're not familiar, <laughs> just go Google Candace Man. Cooper. <laughs> These people are like, this is only a 30-minute show. Let's get to okay, it. Let's okay. get to it. Okay. Okay. I just, I just had to give her the proper introduction. No, at I this appreciate point, it. At this point, we don't have much to talk about anyways, considering this is the breaking news of right literally moments before Candace and I hopped on to record. We saw the news that the Holiday Bowl has been canceled. Uh, I had Candace on, obviously, because NC State is an ACC school. Uh, one thing that stood out to me the most about um, the ACC is that they've had multiple bowl games be canceled. And so we were excited to talk about this one. I think this is going to be the first one of their season so far. Yeah. And unfortunately, literally like, what, four hours before kickoff, five hours before kickoff, whatever it is, uh, four to five hours, <sighs> we get the tweet from Bruce Feldman saying it has been canceled. And we obviously know the reasons why, uh, but that that was added in there because of COVID-19 issues, which UCLA was already dealing with heading to the Holiday Bowl. So Candace and I are going to break down just what happened, what went wrong. We're going to talk about it. our college football playoffs going to happen, uh, what's going on with the rest of college sports this season as, as COVID-19 continues to Rear its ugly head and cases continue to rise. So, Candace, first for you, I know reading that news had to be tough, but you've been in the thick of this at this point, fourth bowl game that's been canceled. What's it like seeing this happen back to back to back? Yeah, Cindy, thanks so much for having me. So, listen, I, as an ACC rep, have been trying to just have one bowl game. Last season, ACC did not win a single one. We lost every <laughs> single bowl game. So we're like this year, we're gonna come back with a vengeance. We have a team, we have teams that are able to, you know, go forth and prosper. We get up to the first one, the military bowl gets canceled to our undoing. Then you have the Fenway Bowl getting canceled to our undoing. Then you have the Sun Bowl get canceled to our undoing. And then you have the holiday bowl that gets canceled, not because of us. So finally, finally on the flip side of things, it's not our fault. So we had uh, let's see, Virginia. We had Boston College and Miami all have COVID protocol issues. And then this morning, we're all ready to go. NC State's the first one. We are locked and loaded trying to just enjoy San Diego. I don't even know how many NC State fans traveled all the way to California, but you are a trooper if you did. However, to find out five hours before that your experience is no longer going to be had, that's tough because UCLA, their D-line was apparently decimated They weren't able to fulfill. They had some backup people. You know, they got the walk-ons coming in. But for safety reasons, I understand why you don't play. 
right? I get it. at the end of the day, football is very dangerous. So to have people out there that don't really know what they're doing, that's silly. And on the positive, okay, you got guys who are trying to go to the league. They don't have to play a bowl game. So they don't have to have the whole opt out, people cussing them out in their comments, everyone getting in their feelings. They don't have to do that. They get to preserve their body for one more game. Now, does NC State, did they want a 10 win season? Of course they did. That would have been the first time since 2002. Great. However, it's not going to happen, but you have to look at some of the positives or else you drive yourself crazy. Now, do I think five hours before is insanity? Yes. I'm I'm starting to feel like as a person who's very hip on protocols, who's very hypochondriac, who is super about her hygiene. Yeah. Don't have it. But at the same time, 24 hours out, what COVID tests? Like that's where I'm feeling because all this money that's been put in place, all of these people's emotions, you got guys ready to go. And then five hours, five hours. And I'm well, wondering, what was going to change? <laughs> and, and that's what I'm saying. And I'm wondering if they were symptomatic, if it was like, you know, granted, it's it's contagious. We know. Right, like, right. once you got it, you 100%. got it. But what are we doing? I just don't know. I don't feel what like. What was going to change where you guys thought magically they were going to get a negative test the next day? And then to me, again, having those, we knew there was issues with UCLA before we even yeah. got out here, before we yeah. even started playing around. We knew they were stuff. Now, to go through the whole bowl experience, good on them. At least they weren't in, like, Bumble, Kentucky. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they got to go to the zoo. They got to do all these things. Hell, you, I heard UCLA was at SeaWorld. Live your life. But Well, that that right there is a whole other issue that we're If we into. know <laughs> that the bowl games are in jeopardy, maybe we have to do things at the hotel. Like, maybe yeah. we have to bring some sea animals into the hotel lot. You know what well, I'm saying? Maybe, maybe we, we just a don't get the, Maybe we just don't get the full experience this time. Maybe we don't. Sacrifice we make because you want to play football. It's one or the other. You want to play football or you want to live a normal life. Because at the end of the day, we all know you can't go about it the same way. You can, you're not going to get the same bowl experience that you would have gotten before COVID-19, yeah. where you do all these fun activities leading up to yeah. the bowl game and it makes you feel like you did something special. You only have the bowl game. So you're playing for the ring. Or you don't play at all. And now you're not playing at all because you wanted to go to SeaWorld. So I saw um, Oregon and Oklahoma. They were doing like this dance off the other day. And like that's stuff we used to seeing, right? We're used to seeing teams battle it out, have fun. Why are y'all, what, what are we doing? Why are we dancing? Why? Uh-uh, go to, why? Why, why do you have no mask on dancing? Like there's so many questions here to where when you see the tweet in real time, you're like, yeah, that's exactly why. Right, right. Um, I've actually seen a meme about that. People have been <laughs> people have been posting a meme and they they had it like uh someone says I've tested positive for COVID-19 and then their Instagram story is somebody dancing and partying and stuff. Cause it's like you I'm not shocked. You've been out, you've been doing this. I haven't seen you've a been mask outside. inside. <laughs> Ain't seen a mask in sight. And then you wonder why you got it. Yeah, it got you. It's it's that time of season. Um, coming up next, Candace and I are gonna continue to talk about this situation. We're also going to talk about uh, Miami and Washington State as well, because now there's a different situation going on over there with the Sun Bowl. Yeah. Whew, so much. My goodness. Thanks again for making Locked on Pac-12 podcast your first listen every day. Make sure to check out the ultimate college football playoff preview 2021 local experts, betting advice and draft analysis. The most comprehensive college football playoff preview is live now. As we're talking about college playoff preview, I wonder if they're discussing if it's actually going to happen this season because the way these saw the tweet about Georgia and they were like playing with mask on and i guess you know kirby smart has been very low-key about you know exposing things but i'm telling you what as much money that is on the line for college football playoff they're playing that game they're not yeah that's not yeah yeah that's not (laughs) they're they're gonna find a way we're gonna find a way to get around this because we cannot afford to keep losing these games so okay i i while you speak of money i wonder how much is down the drain now and mind you we always discuss this i think you and i uh, we, you and I had a podcast together and we were discussing COVID-19 when it first started and when it was first going and how students' health was way more important than money and playing and all that. Yeah. But at this moment where it's like hours before uh, a game, you have to realize how much money is on the line and how much is now down the drain and wasted. And I'm not fully, fully sure how the NCAA is set up with allocating funds to different bowl games, but this has to be a big blow, not just this game, but like all the games that have been canceled. Do you know how point. much this how do you know how much a holiday bowl was worth? 
No, I don't. That's why. Six, $6.5 million. Well, there we go. All right. And that's just one bowl game. Just <laughs> once. And that, just that they also <laughs> did not sell out. There were thousands of tickets still available. Commissioner Jim Phillips has lost out on at least $20 million for the ACC. At least. At least. I, I don't even want to know what George Klievkoff, that's the Pac-12 commissioner. I don't even want to know what he's dealing with <laughs> right now because, um, yeah, this is ugly. And at the and at this point, like you said, it's on the it's on the onus of UCLA. They didn't do what they needed to do after knowing they were already low on players. Yeah. They're acting clearly mm-hmm. reckless. And then that brings me to – the Rose Bowl situation where there's supposed to be media day at Disneyland and all mm-hmm. this stuff. And I will say this, there's regulations on Disneyland right now, as far as um, how you can attend, mm-hmm. um, you have to get reservations. It's not like, Oh, I can just show up and go to Disneyland. Like how we used to do. But with that being said, I don't know if things were shut down for this. Um, yeah, I feel like it's still so many people you're having in an enclosed space, media, all of that. Even if you require vaccinations and, and masks, at this point, and especially this time of season, we're seeing cases ramp up. Omicron, Omicron, however you say it, however you say it, you're Greek, so how do you say it? Omicron. <laughs> Omicron, okay. I just, I had, a, I had a Greek friend try to correct me the other day, and I was like, look, whatever Omicron? it is, yeah, yeah whatever it is, yeah, whatever it is, it, it's rearing its ugly head. We've seen it. Um, take out a lot of people right before the holidays and people were not able to spend that time with their family. So it's clear that more precautions needed to have been made uh, leading up to these bowl games if they actually wanted to see them played. I So my question is, is there the policy in place? We're talking, we were talking about money. We're talking about people going to experiences. If you allow your team to go to Disney World and you pop up positive with cases, do you forfeit the money that you were going to win in that bowl game? So I'm pretty sure there's like a whole insurance plan on these bowl games, but I also wonder if there's like implications on the insurance. You know what I mean? I'm wondering how COVID and how COVID is involved because, you know, communicable diseases doesn't sometimes really get covered in certain insurance, especially with what's going on now. A lot of people are like, listen, you want to come to the game? You get COVID. That's on you, big dog. You can't sue us. So I'm wondering how that, you know, will affect. But I think for the players and like everyone involved, to me, once you go back to the money side of things, do does UCLA, you know, find, get fined? Do they not have an opportunity to win any sort of money? Because do you have a participation check, <laughs> like just there for needs, making it? <laughs> there needs to be some type of repercussion in the situation because you are making a vow to like do the right things and go by a certain protocol to play in these games, yeah, and then. For you to last minute. I mean, if you're looking at the Sun Bowl, how Washington State was so determined to play, they're like, give us somebody else, right? And the bowl system figured it out because Boise State had to uh, back out of that bowl game against uh, Central Michigan. So Central Michigan was able to come and, like, let me go play against Washington State. They still haven't even made it to the bowl game yet, so we're not 100% sure if they're going to make it, but they are replacing Miami. Yeah. Uh, NC State couldn't even do that in this situation because it's the day of. There's no one to like last minute call right now. There's teams that aren't just waiting to be called up and are practicing and waiting for the runner up opportunity. And that is something that might in the future be a thing. There Mm. may have to, if this continues, right. If COVID continues to be, because we're we're already in our second, what second, third season of it uh, when it comes to sports, second season of fully playing, I'll say, um, Mm. There might have to be an insurance plan of like, well, there's a runner up. So you guys have to continue practicing just in case, you know, we need a backup for this. Like that might be something that has to happen in the future or something to look for, look at, because look at how this season has ended. And the thing is, we got through the full season without really having canceled games. We had one postponement towards the end of the season with USC versus Cal. And then, yeah. you know, that was the only thing that we had to worry about as far as the Pac-12 conference. And I don't think we heard too much throughout the college football system completely about uh, games getting postponed or canceled. Because yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think there was one ACC game that got canceled because of football situation. But I also look to were they testing as heavily? Why is now the bowl situation so much different? And why are right. things just getting snatched up? Why are we even trying to have a bowl season at this point? Like, I get it. Maybe they thought, oh, well, we're having a regular season. Everything seems fine. And then magically, again, ACC has had four bowl games canceled. That's insanity to me. 
Why are we forcing ourselves to, you know, clearly there's something going on. There's a ramp in holiday season. We know December, it's flu season, it's cold season. We always have an uptick in illnesses. And now you have something that everyone can get just like that. So I'm just confused as to people thought things were going to be changing. (laughs) And sports are not immune. We saw how the NFL and NBA have gotten knocked off one by one, having (laughs) what, 109 players in the NFL out it's insane 400 players since the start of like whatever this has been going on have been out due to COVID protocol so I think we have to start asking ourselves how important is sports to our entertainment lives to the health and safety of other people like what is it if it means that we're not going to get the full experience because it's not fun to me it's not fun watching I don't want to say the B team but like the G Leaguers <laughs> yes we're seeing the, that's like not literally literally the NBA has had the most players they've ever had play in a season and it's only December. Like the season yeah. is just getting started, but because of this, because of having so many players on COVID protocols, they're literally bringing people in for 10 day contracts. They're signing their two way players from the G league teams. They're, they're bringing them from all over just to, and I mean, good for those people who are getting those opportunities to showcase what they can do uh, for those that, you know, have been out of the league and getting those second opportunities get on those 10 day contracts. But like, what are we doing here for real, for real? And college basketball, I know that we're going to talk about here in a second, but that's just as bad. Like, we're ha- there's more games, more opportunity to shut things down. And when you have one team that goes down, knowing that they're going to have to play other people in your conference, that affects their situation. And trying to make up games is always a hurdle. You can't really do that in football, right? But how do you make up a holiday bowl? Are they going to sit at home for the next week and hope that another team – in the next couple of days gets, you know, X'd out and they fly to whatever city and play a game so they can get a 10th win. That just yeah. seems crazy to me. Like you got to try and get guys to go back to their respective States. You got to get guys who have COVID on UCLA's front. They're going to have to try and get home. How are you going to do that when you know you can't, well, you well they driving. They, they're driving. Okay. They're driving. They're cool. driving. Cause San Diego's only Great. a two hour drive. That's, that's cool. not even a fly. Had yeah. to. Hour had drive, to. hour, two hour. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, had that's to. A drive. But point. then we're but driving. They have to go home. Now. In a concealed, now we're driving in a, we're all in the bus together. So we'll be, how are we going to split that? Y'all sit in the back, hazmat it up. Like, what are we doing? It seems what very are we dangerous. Doing? It seems very dangerous. They're going to sit on the bus for two hours with like three masks on. And I just That's feel like, happen. again, it doesn't make sense to force an issue that everyone's telling you is a huge issue and you shouldn't be doing it. Right. Right. I agree. I agree. All right. Coming up next, Candace and I are going to talk about if, College sports are actually going to finish out their seasons. Are they going to, are the spring sports going to have seasons? More about COVID-19, all of that. It's just, it's a lot going on, y'all. A lot going Truly. on. Bet Online has you covered this holiday season with more props, odds, and lines than ever before as football continues its march through the college bowl season and the pro football playoffs. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all the sports action this season. If it continues, head to the website or use the mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use the promo code locked on to receive your bonus. From basketball, football, NHL, boxing, and UFC, Right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 season while you still can, okay? Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports, and we're hoping sports continue. So while they're happening, make sure you don't wait and take advantage of all the new amazing offers available. Bet online is where the game starts. That deep breath you took, I took one too. Just all, <laughs> it was like one of those sighing moments. Like, what are we? Because I'm really? looking at the payouts for the bowl games that we're missing money on. Six point five for a holiday. Military Ooh. was two million. Sun Bowl was four point five, and we still don't know what the Fenway Bowl was. So again, missing out on millions of dollars. But uh, I go back to public universities depend on that money, like yeah. really depend on that money. And it's more yeah. like I understand people like, oh, well, revenue generated sports should get more blah, blah, blah. But in this landscape, like the swimmers of the world, the uh, track and field athletes of the world depend yes. on bowl money to have, you know, whatever, whatever, what have you. And when you're in a bowl, when you're in a UNC, like for us, UNC school system, right? There's 16 of us. They give, able to give the HBCUs money. You're able to give, you know, some of these community colleges in our areas money. They're missing on that. Millions of dollars that help funnel classes, help funnel opportunities for athletes. Cause I know so much we call them students sometimes, right? It makes but it very important. Kind of, kind of business people at this point. Cause they have- Very important. 
It's critical. So it's really important to the college ecosystem. And so now it's a COVID-19 is not only affecting people's health and, mm -hmm. you know, livelihood, mindset, all of that, but now you're affecting the actual college system and the way yeah. universities are ran and like the things that they depend on. And we've already seen what it's like for our economy to be affected by COVID-19. Thank goodness those student loans keep getting pushed back. But um, Yo, stop playing with us. Please. Stop police, playing with us. Please. Because. All right. That's, that's a shame. That's a whole, right. can, that's a whole podcast. We can, right. We can, we can talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, stop playing with us. Okay. At the end of the day, though, the less money universities have to shell out uh, funding for students and all of this, more student loans are going to be a situation, right? Like for people mm -hmm. to even go to school. It's, it's really a trickle down effect. And it sucks that sports have so much of a effect on just you know a regular student going to school and having this yeah. aff afforded to them but all of that matters and like you know running a university is not cheap clearly so yeah. but like seeing all that go down the drain seeing the hopes of these student athletes go down the drain you and i both student athletes know what it feels like to look forward to going to nationals and you know competing at that high level after you've worked all season long to make it there and performed to your best of your ability did what you needed to do luckily you and i didn't have to ever deal with um a global pandemic situation but yeah it's unfortunate seeing this continue to happen year after year because somehow last year they were able to get through most like all the seasons and you know have the nationals and all of that but now we're back to square one it, it's but see really what was the like difference and that's what's concerning is it delta going crazy is it omicron going crazy like what is the difference to where now you cannot we can't even play with covid like was we playing it's, last year <laughs> i mean at this point it just does seem like the evolution of covid is mm -hmm. kind of beating our technology, our science, you know, mm -hmm. medicine, like we're not as intelligent <laughs> as the disease, I guess, as the virus actually is. So at this point, I mean, it's one of those take a step back for me in my mindset and shut it down again. I, I know people hate to hear that and they don't want to deal with that, but it's like, imagine starting your seasons and just left and right things are getting canceled and postponed you it's not it's not yeah. well the cdc just told us it only takes five days when you're good so i don't understand like clearly they want us to get that, back to and work then, <laughs> so and then clearly, there we go with that there we go there's with a that. disconnect like that, there's a disconnect that, people please please be mindful if you got covid don't be rushing to get back to the streets just because the cd i mean i'm not the cdc and they supposed to know more than me but but perfect example, I know. right? Could the UCLA team give it – if this today is what, Tuesday? Could we give <sighs> it to a Thursday? Could we give it to a Saturday and honor people's tickets and honor that game actually happening? What is keeping us – I know – is there a lot going down to San Diego where they can't have a bowl game on Saturday? Like, to no, me, I just San don't Diego doesn't. San Diego no longer has a team, no longer has an NFL team. It's They're, they're playing at the baseball stadium, so baseball's not in season. Uh, they definitely could – Will they and what that requires as far as operations goes? You worked in operations. You know how fr stressful, frustrating, all of that is when a game gets canceled and you got to postpone it. And usually the postponement of it is not within the same week, typically, right? Like that's a whole nother rescheduling months later. Um, yeah. We're clear that bowl games aren't going to be rescheduled months later. So if they plan on pushing it back a day or two, not quite sure what's going to happen there as of right now we just know it's canceled we haven't heard anything about like we literally got the news minutes before we hopped on here to record so uh at, yeah it it's up in the air at this point not quite sure if we'll see spring sports have a full season track and field uh why am i blanking what else is in spring i guess basketball is winter spring um yeah. You got you, you just have lacrosse, you have gymnastics, you have a lot there of things go. that I yeah. think, you know, baseball, which is really huge. There but go. for NC State, you saw them get their uh, college World Series. Literally, they're supposed to play in championship or opportunity to play in the championship. They got COVID, so they couldn't play. You had them going through their best player on their basketball team, getting pulling his shoulder and not being able to play 50 seconds into the first game of the year.
That yeah. is <laughs> like you can't buy but, NC State's bad luck. Like seriously, NC, I don't want to say NC State is cursed, but to me, it's like Lord, I don't understand what they have done or who they have pissed off. But it sucks that we're still playing this game of you know COVID and people are not doing what they have to do. But I think I think what's the worst is the timing. Because yeah. 48 hours before, I can process, you know, a day before, that still sucks. Hours. Like, you're in your zone. Former athlete, you're, you're in your you're zone. In, you're getting you're ready. Arriving. You started your morning routine. You're ready to do your warm-ups. You understand what's going through. You literally just spent the day before, seen the photo. Shout out to Mike Jones, our homie, who makes sure, you know, flicks it up. They're all taking pictures together. They're all making sure it's all good and gravy. They're talking about their little fun content of playing on a baseball field. Boom. Wake up, ready to go eat breakfast, eat lunch, headed to the stadium, no game. And at this point, yeah, they were probably in that transition of either already arrived at the stadium, um, preparing, because, you know, you do that hours ahead of time that yeah. you actually have to be ready. And so, like, I'm sure they were in the locker room getting changed, ready to warm up if they're not already warming up. And boom, be told, yeah, no, nah, we're going home, y'all. Huh? Um. Yeah, that Sickening. that's a tough that's a tough one. Sickening. I wanna I wanna thank Candace for joining us. We could go on and on for hours because sure. literally we talk all day every day. We might, so we they, might get another game, you know, with uh, yeah. ACC. Who knows? Honestly, with the way things are going, Pac-12 ACC might meet again. You know, people might get a sprung up. Sun Bowl could be Washington State, and who who knows? It could be Duke football at this point. I'm sure they got a very high APR score going. They could join. They've got zero wins, but fucking we'll oh. figure it out. I just feel like it's insane to me that we're still here in 2021, about to be in 2022, still having these conversations. It's sad, Cindy. It's very sad. But hopefully, God willing, 2022 will be better. We can have conversations about crossover episodes that are more positive. We can actually talk X's and O's, barely. But, you know, we can figure out how to actually enjoy sports again. Because right now, I'm not, I'm not having fun. I don't know about you. I'm not having fun. Not having a good time. So, yeah, I just think that overall we'll have to ultimately figure out how to make sure that people figure out, you know, at the end of the day, do what you got to do. Wash your hands. Make sure that you get yourself nice and healthy because it's so critical in this state to take care of yourself. Because as much as you don't think it affects you, it affects so many other people by you not doing your job. And I get it's such a disease where you could literally go to Target and get COVID, you know. But at the same time... Players might have to start living a different life. We might have to really be in isolation. We might have to really start, especially during championship season. Like during the season, maybe a little more lax. But when it's, you know, everything on the line, maybe it starts to have that conversation for next episode. How important are these bowl games? I mean, that is going to go to administrators to decide and then students to decide if that's what they want to sign up for. But yeah. if, this, if they worked all – season long to get to this point and it matters to them that much then you're going to sacrifice because we all know being an athlete yeah. is all about sacrifice so absolutely do what you got to do to get it done so Man, yeah preach <laughs> tough so tough okay well thank you so much for joining us candace make sure you guys check out locked on acc on youtube odyssey app or wherever you get your uh pot or if you listen to your podcast uh you can follow on twitter at what is the at Locked on ACC, and you can follow me personally at Candace D. Cooper. So make sure you guys do that, and we will lock and load and ready to go. We'll do that. Yeah, let's wrap it up because my whole thing, I keep going in and out, and I feel bad. It's because the COVID, the COVID is coming. It's like it's just ready for us to chill. You know, we thought we had something to do today. <laughs> we thought we we're going to have a great show tomorrow. I was expecting to have Locked on Wolfpack host Ken Gibbs talk to us about the game. I got to figure out content for tomorrow. Good time. Yeah. Great time. Yeah. Gotta love it. Can, Gotta love maybe it. we'll get more info. You guys can talk about the aftermath. There you go. All. Who knows? There you go. Um, thank you all for making Locked On Pac-12 Podcast your first listen every day. Now make your second listen Locked On Bets, your daily one-stop shop for all your gambling needs. It's Locked On Bets, hosted by your boy Q with expert analysis and insight from Lee Sterling. It's free and available on all platforms. So is Locked On Pac-12 Podcast. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube and listen up on Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcast. Other than that, continue to stay Locked On Pac-12 on the Locked On Network.